Personally, I feel that these things aren't there to dictate to us. They're there to help us. And we're also there to bring government to those cycles. So there's a, an outer cycle of what we call the Mazaroff or the, the cycle of the, our planet through the heavens and how that relates obviously to different ages. And that cycles around 24, 25,000 years. Therefore, each cycle is sort of 2,400 years or something around that thing. Um, but that's just the external cycle. And I, I honestly, I don't believe in, in astrology in that we're controlled by those planets or controlled by the position of our birth in those planets. But there is seemingly does seem to be a cycle and, and God does work in cycles and seasons. Um, but I don't believe we have to wait for another 2000 years for Aquarius and another 2000 years. And then we start again, per se, although we are we do talk about ages to come. Um, and when there's the restoration of all things according to this age, maybe there are ages to come which will relate to another cycle of those things, perhaps. Um, personally, there's a wheel within a wheel within a wheel, and their inner wheels engage with the 12 chancellor's houses, the high chancellors of heaven, and those houses seem also to dictate sort of cycles that we connect to. And those cycles can be small cycles in our own lives, but also cycles for the church or cycles for the age in that sense and we're supposed to govern that and we're supposed to administrate it so i'm not going to be controlled by the fact that well we might be coming into the age of aquarius i can operate in the outpouring of the fullness of god's blessing abundant life in any age um but i think there are things that do give you some allegorical insight into some things that god may be planning or God might be doing, but also he cooperates with us in it. And there are higher level mountains and there are mountains in which we um, engage our own personal mountains in the realm of the kingdom of God uh, for our spheres on earth and beyond. And then we go further up into kingship and there are other mountains in the realm of the kingdom of heaven. And there are obviously mountains within heaven itself uh, and beyond. Um, and there are thrones for us to uh, sit on and to govern from according to our level of maturity and that level of maturity does grow and it continues. Um, and I think rather than thinking about the current system, think about the kingdom of God filling the earth and that beginning to change all the systems of the earth, which are coming out of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil so that we can begin to administrate the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, which essentially is why we need to be seated in heaven to administrate that on earth. There are other things that are going on around that. The earth shield is a shield of protection that is around the earth, shielding from external influences, but also allowing for government and administration into the earth from there. And there's the awakening of the earth itself and creation. Ultimately, we're here as sons to bring about the restoration of the whole of creation so that creation can be set free from its bondage to the corruption that it's in into the freedom of the glory of the children of God. So our maturity will dictate the pace of uh, the restoration of creation. Um, and I don't believe that that is controlled by any external force. Um, for instance, you know, the Maseroth and the cycle of the heavens. That's a physical cycle, which may have some spiritual components to it or some spiritual comparisons you can draw but not to be controlled by them. <clears throat> Otherwise, we're looking for those external things rather than what is the heart of God for us at any one moment so we can outwork those things kingdom-wise in our lives, through our lives, around our lives, so that we extend the boundaries of our government and begin to increase the kingdom of God. And ultimately, the kingdom will increase as more and more people are awakened to God's love, understand and come into their sonship, and then begin to function as a son towards creation, and, and that will bring about its restoration ultimately. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.